In this video, we will demonstrate how to use polymath to solve ordinary differential equations, but by transferring the polymath program into Excel, and therefore being able to take advantage of all the plotting abilities of Excel and generating and saving multiple solutions for different initial conditions, for example. And so we'll step through first how to install polymath into Excel. At the end of this video, we will have show the commands written down to make it easy to follow what happens. So the way we're going to do this, we'll go to File in Excel and go to Options and then select Add-ins. And down here near the bottom, Excel Add-ins, and we want to make sure that's what we've selected if it's not already selected. And we hit Go. And then we're going to search so we're going to hit the Browse button, and in this case on the C drive, under Program Files, and then what we want to look for is Polymath, Polymath Professional, and then ODE. We're going to select OK, and then if we go to the Add-ins button, this is Excel 2010 that we're using, we can see we have the Polymath Ordinary Differential Equation. So now what we're going to do is, is go to the polymath program and set up an ordinary differential equation solution there and then transfer it into Excel or export it to Excel. So we have the polymath program. We want to use the differential equations solver. And then we'll use an example that's already stored to make it easy to see. So we'll just pick the first example. So here's the polymath program. And other videos describe how to solve ordinary differential equations with polymath. What we want to do is make sure that this will solve and the button indicates it's ready to solve. Indeed, we can generate solutions and we can generate different versions. So now what we want to do is export this to Excel. So one possibility is to hit this button or we can go under problem and it says export to Excel, either one. If we hit that button, it's now sent the program to Excel. I switch over to Excel with the comments over to the right. It's put in the differential equations. So the differential equations here are in red. Initial values are here in this purplish color. And if we now want to solve, go to Add-ins, Polymath, and it brings up this box that we need to fill out before we can hit Solve. And so let's move this so we can select. So the initial values vector, this is the initial values for these variables, so we can select those. We want the ordinary differential equations vector, so select here. These are the differential equations in red. And so now differential variable cell, this is our independent variable here. What is the final value? So let's, we're starting at zero, let's go to 250. And we want it to create a report. Intermediate cells to store could be other variables that we want to track how they're changing. We don't really have them in this particular problem. Number of data points. We could increase this number, and now we're ready to hit solve. So you can see it's solving and putting, found the solution. It put the final values of the, in this case, temperatures at the time 250. Exit from this, we can go to the sheet it created. The sheet now has the information, differential equations, the variables, and now these 200 data points that we ask it to select. This is our independent variable, C15, and these are the three temperatures, so we could make plots the normal way we would in Excel. Then we could go back and pick new starting conditions, or we could change a variable and ask it to solve again. And then we create another sheet, so we could generate a number of sheets and then we can compare the data and, of course, create the graphs that we can in Excel. And so, instead of working in polymath, people that are much more familiar with Excel, once the equations are set up in polymath, 
then you can very quickly use Excel to solve the equations. Here are the steps written out for using polymath in Excel. We've already gone through them, but it helps perhaps to see what we're selecting, the options, and notice the Excel add-ins. It could be something else will show up and you have to push this button, select the add-ins, and then you browse to find this file. Once you install that, you have add-in for Excel. So in Polymath, to use Polymath in Excel, first you set up the problem in Polymath and you solve it to make sure it's working okay. Then you can select under Problem, Export to Excel. When you have the problem now in Excel, then you can select in under the Add-ins ribbon to solve. And when you do that, this box comes up where you put your initial value vector, the differential equations, the initial value for your independent variable, for example, time might be zero, and the final value for that. Remember, you want to check this if you wanted to create a report with all the intermediate values of the differential equation, all these data points. It'll put these on a separate spreadsheet page. These intermediate cells you can ignore, or these can be other variables that you calculate that are not one of the dependent variables in the differential equations, and then you hit solve. 